Lopez is an exciting fighter. Yeah. No, I suspect he trains well, but I don't think he's a better BF level where he no, trains no, all the no, way no, through. No. Tiafima wins. The problem is he thinks he's better than he is. And then he, you know, like you say, he's beat Vasily Lomachenko. Yes, I'm a Lomachenko fanboy, so I'll put that in, but... Lomachenko's never lost a fight according to Namo. No, and then he went to Combosis and lost anyway, which is... Yeah. That's called karma. First. I will go Ortiz win on points. So, round 10. Okay, welcome back to BoxCast. Today we're going to be previewing the fight for between Teofimo Lopez and Jermaine Ortiz, which is for the uh, WBO, WBO World WBO. Junior Welterweight New Championship <laughs> and the Ring Junior Welterweight Championship. Um, what have we got? So they're both, these guys both similar age, similar height, 5'8", 173. Similar reach, 168 and a half inches, 174 centimeters for Lopez and 68.9 inches and 175, basically the same for Jermaine Ortiz. They're both auto orthodox boxers. Um, Tiafimo has 19 wins, 13 by knockout, 68% KO percentage. One loss against George Cambosis, where he lost the lightweight belts. Um, he hasn't <coughs> been stopped and uh, he hasn't got any draws. Jermaine Ortiz has got 17 fights, eight wins by, 17 wins, eight, eight by knockout, 47% knockout ratio. He's got one loss against Vasily Lomachenko, and he's got a draw. He hasn't been stopped either. So they're both pretty similar. Um, so yeah. Lopez is the big favorite, though, I think. Tiafimo Lopez is the, well, they fought in the amateurs, and Lopez beat him. Um, although I don't know, that's about 2015, so it's like nine mm -hmm. years ago. So I'm not sure how relevant or not it is, unless there's like a mental block there. So I think Ortiz is out to get revenge. Um, I think Tiafimo has been the more convincing out the two, isn't he? In his fights, yeah. I was just looking through the records. Um, he have not had a lot of fights for con you know, I think Ortiz has been fighting for 10 years, he hasn't had a lot of fights for. You know, 19 fights in 10 years is not it was a lot. 24 Lopez and, um, what's his name? What's a 17, 18, 19? Yeah, basically the same. They're nearly the same on most of the stats. He's 20, yeah, he's just, 19. You know, you just think. Um, they've been fighting since 2016. So it's uh, eight years. And they've only had like, it's 113 pro rounds for Lopez and 109. Yeah, I mean, I watched the. Ortiz. I, I like Ortiz. He's, he's really fast. Put his punches together really, really well. He's not scared of standing and trading either. Um, I think they're pretty similar on that, isn't it? He's, he's probably I got a I bit mean, more boxing, but I think Lopez yeah, I mean, has got I'll, more. I'll, Tiafimo's got a bit more power. I'll give Ortiz his G I mean, money for Lomachenko. It, 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 was, it was quite a close fight, actually. Mm. I think this, one of the scorecards was... 115, 114, and then there was a 117, 111, a 116, 112. Um, I think he won, the. I'd say, the first half of the the, yeah, the fight and Lomachenko come on at the end. Up, um, but he was catching Lomachenko with some fantastic punches. Um, yes, he was, he's the bigger, he was the bigger man in that fight. Um, I, I, I like, like I say, I like, I like his hand speed, Ortiz. Um, he's got really, really good hand speed. His punch, punch output's good. Not scared to have a, have a scrap. Yeah. Um, Tiafimo, <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Well, he's quick as well. And he's he's quick. Things. I think he I relies. Think he's, he's got a bit. He relies on his power. Relies on his power. I would think that's what happened against George Cambosis, wasn't it? Relied on his power. Um. He's just, I, I find him quite a strange character, Tiafimo Lopez, to be honest. I'm not really a fan. Well, well, the thing is, I think he's been beaten by Lomachenko as well with yeah. one arm. <clears throat> and so he's got, he's risen up the rank with 
like calling out people and things because he was a knockout artist and I mean, he was really too big for 135 yeah he just I mean do, his don't, don't get me wrong though his last performance against Josh Taylor he was he was really good he, 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 I think this is it's like Haney I think this is their weight yeah I think they were uh, a bit like I don't know struggling because I think you know they're, they're good athletes but I think a lightweight they're a little bit it was a bit too small for them um I think this uh, like junior welterweight I think yeah. both him and Haney are right I mean, if he gets through this, I think him and Haney, I would want to see that. would be quite an interesting fight. The sort of bit more just, like the think, yeah, knockout puncher depends, and against the technician. It depends what Tefimo turns up, I think, sometimes. Sometimes he's... Well, yeah. I guess, well, I've seen him with like Nakatani, wasn't it? When he had, um, or it, who was a tall and rangier fighter, and he really struggled in that. I mean, he won, but it was he struggled. And he's seen Lomachenko just take out Nakatani, you know, sort of demolished him, really. Um and made him, um, because he went to decision Tiafimo, and even though he's the bigger puncher, and Lomachenko made him quit, um, you know, TKO'd. Yeah. So there's a bit of um, that, I think, of this one. But I think at this weight, he is one of the bigger players. I think Haney coming up and taking out Progre in the way he did is, um, you know, shaking her up a bit. Um, but I think Haney's a better boxer. But Lopez yeah, does have I mean, the power, I mean, so he can, he can like, catch and he I, does I don't, catch. You, you don't know what Lopez is going to... Yeah, yeah turn up to be honest um i think he's in for a i think he's in for a long night against Ort and it wouldn't shock me if ortiz beat him um mm -hmm. ortiz you know he's, he's done a few upsets I before even, i think it's a pretty even fight yeah, you know he beat, it's just lopez's powers the yeah, added one it's whether he can catch him or yeah i mean he beat him ortiz Jamal Herring. um but what ortiz has is good timing as well he's um, a good boxer and lopez has been on the deck yeah, yeah. You know, you know, Campos has put him on the deck with with time and not power. It was time and the punches. Yeah. Um, no, I think what, uh, Lopez is Tiafimo. Lopez is quite strong and he has got the power, but he can be caught. He's um, he's a good boxer. I wouldn't say he's the best technician. Uh, he's got a good set of skills and he's got his power, which has got him through to where he is. I think, I think his, his opinion of himself is higher than what he actually is. Oh, God, yeah. Although he is um, a good boxer. I will give him that. He's I mean, a good level boxer. Ortiz's nickname is The Technician. Yeah, yeah. Um, and like I say, for a few rounds against Lomachenko, he was absolutely destroying Lomachenko. L yeah. Lomachenko's face was looked a bit of a mess, to be fair to him. And against his, uh, Jamel um, Herring, he, that was the upset that he... Uh, that that he caused that got him the fight with Lomachenko. He, he was he was superb in that. Like I say, his his hand speed is yeah, yeah. It's something special. Fantastic. Um, he's a he's an exciting fighter. Lopez is an exciting fighter. Yeah. Um, I think that's what makes this interesting. Yeah. Again, it's... the if the Lopez turns up, that turned up against Cambosis. Ortiz, Ortiz is going to win. Yeah, he's going <laughs> to. If, if he's going to use him as, um, as a punch bag. Um, Josh Taylor turns up. Then I think it's a very good. Yeah, interesting and like fight. I say, that I hope all Lope. I think sometimes Lopez gets in his head that oh, if I just turn up, I'll beat these guys. Like you say, believes his own hype. Uh, I think he did that a bit more of lightweight, and then he's got a shock when well, I don't know Lomachenko whether, yeah. gave him that, and he did. That's why he didn't. He went no, to I don't know whether the Cambosis defeat the Cambosis ha has done him, him a really, him. really good thing because he's yeah. now gone. Oh right! I can't just turn up. Uh oh. And win. Um. So maybe that as you know, right? I'm going to push myself even further because he looks like a bit of a party animal, Lopez as well. Yeah, yeah. I think he's one of them. Well, I think he's, he, he looks like he, he enjoys might, himself. Yeah, and, I might be wrong. And he believes his own hype. Yeah, I might be wrong. No, I suspect he trains well, but I don't think he's a better BF level where he no, trains no, all the way no, through. No, no. He's not a. Um, and Ortiz will be relishing this chance. Yeah, yeah. He'll well, he wants revenge as well. Like I said, he's got a in the um, amateurs. He's been. Um, and he I think it was a close fight in the amateurs, but he got beat. Yeah, fight. and he's not going to be. He's not going to be scared of Lopez. You mm. know, he's been in with Jamal Herring, caused an upset. He's been in with Lomachenko. Um, he'll he'll step up. He will step up. Um, well, we want him to. You know, we we'll make it an interesting fight, and it, and you know. Either and win, I think there's good fights ahead because that division's sort of fairly open. Yeah, it um, is. I mean, you've got. I mean, even him versus Haney would be a good fight because both technician and the hand speed. Yeah, both of them have got skill levels. Um, but like you say, he does like a tear up as well. 
Ortiz. And that's what makes but, it interesting. But that, yeah, because Lopez likes to tear up. Yeah, yeah. Well, and Lopez I, is that's his main and thing. And I don't isn't know it? whether that will play into Lopez's hands. Yeah, is yeah. Lopez will drag him in, and that will suit Lopez down to the ground. Yeah, he's got that little bit more power. Yeah, to, I think Ortiz's plan is that if he can outbox him, which he can, I think if he stays disciplined, then yeah, yeah. Um, tear up if they go near the end and it's close, maybe all right. But I think in a tear up, I think then it, that's favors Lopez. Yeah, I just think he. he, he <laughs> I think it's just in Ortiz's nature, though. I just think probably <laughs> it's in his nature, and I've noticed as well against the, um, whoever I think it was Lomachenko. Every time he had the the clacker with ten seconds to go, that's when he'd have a tear up. Yeah, yeah. It just he it was it was uh, he, he gives he, it a good he, go. Yeah, he does. And you know what? Good on him. He's a young lad. Um, well, I don't think there's any shame in losing to Lomachenko the full on hundred percent Lomachenko because I think a lightweight. Like I say, I think I had is... I scored the fight seven. Five, I think I scored it for Lomachenko. He must, he must have he must have done that on lightweight as well. Um so it was a, it was I had a quite a close fight. Um and like I say, he caught he caught Lomachenko a lot of times. Um He's a slick boxer, isn't he? Really slick boxer. Um Lopez has still got question marks over him because because of the Cambosis thing. Um but like I say, I think he entered a lot of them when he he, he beat Josh Taylor convincingly. Um, well, his draw was in 2021, was that? So it's a little bit... Yeah, yeah, Joseph you know, Adorno? Who's not a bad yeah. boxer, is he? So I think... So he's done him a light... I think that's lightweight, lightweight. He's gone. Um, and then he's moved up in weight in it. I just... I um I think this is gonna be a good fight, you know, a really good fight. And there hasn't been a lot of promotion about it. again, this is another thing with Tiafimo Lopez is his fights kind of sometimes go under the radar. All right, yeah, we're in the UK, but on you know, there's no you know, my YouTube is just boxing, 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 and it's never Anything well, about is, Tia Fimo Lopez fights coming up? You know, to do prep for um, this, and there isn't really any predictions or anything's out there. So I think we might be one of the, yeah, the first just, ones. To I do. just find it, and this <laughs> is where there's a, there's a bit of like banter, and because he's accused them of being a ped cheat, too, which just seems to be yeah. I, out but there. I think that's where Tia Fimo is. He's not the the big <laughs> crowd seller that he thinks he is. And I think that's where he, the thing is. This it's a bit he's of a priced shame him, he's priced himself out of a lot of fights in the yeah, past. I think he's a very good fighter, and in this division, he's got a very good chance to you know get a fair yeah. few belts. Maybe not undisputed, but he's got a fair good chance. The problem is he thinks he's better than he is, and that's his biggest downfall in in both pricing himself out of fights and doing yeah. the promotions. I mean, he's called up Bud Crawford. What the look as good as you are and good as it is, you call up Bud Crawford, and it has, if it's at one forty seven. You're getting slapped, mate, mate. You're going to get by the floor wiped with you. You ain't even as good as Errol Spence. You're I know, get the but floor wiped again, that's why... I mean, it's, it's, I can it's, see his points from, make it's a big money fight, but... But he doesn't bring in the money. Yeah, Tia Fimo, he there's really no does There's advantage in having that fight for Bud Crawford because yeah. he's expected to win. You don't add anything to his name. No, you so, don't. So, like, what is the point of calling him And Bud him Crawford will give you 5%. And then slagging off his resume and, like, you know, you're just going to yeah. make him angry. It's not a good yeah. idea. And like I say, Bud Crawford will give him a 5% pass. Yeah. Um, and that's all you're worth, mate. He's got better fights uh, than that. There's no point fighting. And like I say, Tia Fimo should go on. And I, like I say, the last fight against Josh Taylor, good victory. Um, really yeah. good victory. Well, that's good the thing. performance. If you don't know what's going to turn up. If he turns up, he is a very he's good brilliant. fighter. Yeah, and he's, and he's exciting. And he's good in the band. Technically, right, really good. But he's, yeah. he's entertaining. He kept that shot. <laughs> but then, you know, you don't want boring characters in well, boxing. No, do I don't you? mind him doing it. But, like, you know. You but, haven't but turned up. up that Josh, yeah. Josh Taylor version and what, when yeah. he's turned up, make yeah. a good fight and realise where you are. Don't be over-hyping yourself, which is, I think he's had a bit too much of that bit. He's been, he thinks he's bigger than he is. But it, I and think, I think Cambosis did give yeah, him a bit of a reality I think it, it's, it's, He's got a little bit better since yeah, then. Yeah, I think Lopez's dad has a lot to do with it That's as well, the problem, doesn't he? I think. Um, I think he does a lot of talking as well. Because um, he gets on pound for pound list and I'm like, huh? Like, no, he's he's very good. He is 
in that he's world level, but he's not the top elite. He's not. I wouldn't. Yeah, yeah I don't have him on my list. So put it like that. I wouldn't. You know, he's not in my top ten. No. Um, he really isn't in my top ten. I think he's got a fair bit to go before he gets anywhere near, and I don't. And I think there's enough people ahead of him that I won't be. Um, you know, he's not a pound for pound great yet. Um, no, he's not. But I think if he is at his division in this division, if he sticks to that and goes at it properly with a bit of discipline, he's got a good chance to get a fair few belts here, unify maybe, you know, and do and probably get to an undisputed fight with some, one of the others. Possibly. And having said all that, now, Ortiz will beat him. <laughs> then I, mean, that look, I think Tiafimo fought that Sandor Martin, didn't he? Mm. He was a good fighter. I think cause Sandor Martin beat the likes of Mikey Garcia and Jose Felix. Mm -hmm. Um... And Tifima put up a good performance against him. And then he, you know, like you say, he's beat Vasily Lomachenko. Yeah, and then I think is let's not put that one. And then I think is it everything's just gone to his head then and like I'm the greatest. Because let's be honest, at the time everyone was saying Lomachenko was the best in the world. Um uh, and he goes and gets a decision against him and then he's right, well I am I think that's the worst thing to happen to him though. That yeah. one, and and then the best thing that's happened is Cambosis, yeah, who's put a bit more reality check. So they've come. He's not as brash as he was before. They've gone down you know a because bit. I think other than Cole you know Mel he hasn't Crawford. fought Devin Haney or he any, the any of the, the others. He's in his division. You're not going to go up to welterweight because you've got a bit of power. But like you go up against some of them, there is some animals in the welterweight yeah. division who are very very good, who are better fighters than you and are bigger. Yeah, so. You know, whatever you think you can do, that is, you've got your division in that uh, light welterweight or junior welterweight, whatever you want to call it. Stick to there, and there's enough good big fights yeah, there. Yeah, I mean, and he's, he's then a, once you've done that, then yeah, you can step he's, up. He's, he's a young man. Yeah, he's got plenty of time. Um, there's potential there, and there's a very, like I said, a very good fighter. He just needs to sort it out a bit, and and I think he's been overhyped by himself and overhyped by other people. Yeah. There's things where the because he's a was exciting knockout artist. The Lomachenko one should have been a draw or a thing. It should have been a rematch, really. And then he ran from that and went up the division because obviously he got the decision. He shouldn't have got the decision. I think the fair result would have been a draw or like normally what you do is you stick with the guy with the belts, but giving him a rematch. Um, but Lomachenko fought him with one arm. So, you know, is he better than him? No. I think that shouldn't be a thing on there. Yes, I'm a Lomachenko fanboy, so I'll put that in, but... As you can tell. Yeah. Um, Lomachenko's never lost a fight according to Namo. No. Even if not Lomachenko. Not in amateurs, not in professional. If Lomachenko got knocked spark out cold, he still wouldn't have lost. <laughs> um, He's been knocked on his backside by Linares. He still came back and won. Um, I, but I think. No, I'm all for fairness. And if I look at it fairly, yeah, I even just, being a fan, but if I score it, like, uh, be in Lopez's favour, it's 6 6. If I scored it in Lomachenko's favour, it's 7 5. So. The, the the contestant who's given him the best fight, all right, the Soldido one that he had at second, which I haven't, you know, it's fine. That was the second fight. I think of the main fights he's had, that's the closest. I think he was closer than Haney against Lomachenko. Although Lomachenko that fought Haney was fully fit and the one that fought Tiafima had one arm. So there's a bit of balance. But I would like to see him against Haney. And I think then you get an idea of which it is because you've got, well, Haney seems to have got a bit, gathered a bit of power going up in weight. He didn't seem to have that when he was in the lightweight. He seems to have got better, but he's only really, really... Yeah, Devin Haney is getting... I mean, Lopez does seem to have got a bit better if you take his performance against Josh Taylor into account. I mean, again, which that's... Which was a good fight. If... If... Tiafimo wins, a fight against Haney is massive. To the well, well, I think they can do one or two more because there's other belts there. Yeah, some but, other guys. Well, but if the Saudis come knocking and they want Haney Lopez. Yeah, yeah well, we want that as well. So. <laughs> that, but I think it, you know, they, they don't have to do straight away, but the, in the next two or three fights, that yeah. should happen somewhere. Because uh, I think Haney will want to get into the division properly as well. But, but, but he's beaten one of the best guys in it in progress. Yeah, so. But Ortiz can throw a massive spanner in the works. Do not count this kid out, honestly. Well, to be honest, either of them, I'd like to see fight. Uh, Ortiz is a... I think he's gone under the radar a little bit, Ortiz. Um, well, realistically, they should both be going into this. All right, it's Cambosis one out, 
but they both should have a loss to Lomachenko. So it's a good fight in between. And to be honest, Ortiz versus Haney, that might be even more interesting because he's got a, I think Ortiz has got a bit Just more a, boxing level. Yeah, I mean, like I say, Ortiz is he's he's a bit less super power. quick. He's got the, he his super hands quick. are really, really fast. But he's, you know, he's turning into that, that you know, he's been a young man. He's, he's coming into a, what you call it, a proper man now, isn't he? Um, so you get your man power, if you mm. like. Um, speed and timing will will generate What's, the power, I think. Um, I think he hits hard enough to make you to make know you go. That that is yeah. Um, I, I don't think it's that much weaker. I think it's more that he's a technician, but yeah. more he's a boxing skill guy. Whereas I think Lopez looks for it a yeah. bit more. That's his sort of thing. Yeah. Um, and I, th I don't think he's as good a boxer as Ortiz, but yeah, Ortiz in there could, can, you know, this is a Close closer fight, fight than, than um, I think people yeah. what think. Um, and it depends a bit on what version of Lopez turns yeah. up. And if he, Ortiz is 100%, I think if Ortiz is 100% and even the best Lopez turns up, I still think it's about 50 50. <laughs> mm. Other than Lopez has got his power. If he yeah. catches him, he has got the power, more. Lopez. He's got that little bit extra. I don't yeah. think Ortiz is weak. But yeah. it's an intriguing fight. It's interesting to watch. Should yeah. be exciting. Oh, it'll especially be if you start like a you say, yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't. I don't think either of them. I mean, I think Lopez has been in a couple of boring fights, but well, he's had a quick in his earlier ones. He had a quick few knockouts and stuff. But there's been somewhere he's been like losing really yeah. the fight, and then he's pulled it out with a punch back. Nakatani gave him a really good, good, good go. Um, Against Lomachenko, he did well, but obviously one armed. And then when Lomachenko turned it on him, you could see he didn't want to be there. And that's why I don't think he did a rematch. Because yeah. I think if he's really won, he would have gone for a rematch. But, you know, he knew he was going to lose that. Um, and then he went to Combosis and lost anyway, which is, yeah. that's called karma. <laughs> it certainly is. Um, but yeah, I, I think if he, either of them wins, they've got a, there's a good bit of fights to be had at that. I mean, that, them, that division is is becoming exciting now. Now that Haney's coming to it. Yeah, it is becoming really exciting. Um, and I think good fights will be made. Either of them will be a good fight against yeah. Haney, I think. So, yeah, it's interesting. It'll be interesting to see. Hopefully some fireworks. Hopefully some... Yeah. Should we have a prediction? Um, yeah. I don't know. You're going to go first. Do you want me to go first? I will go Ortiz win on points. Okay. Um, what shall I do? So I'll take Lopez then by knockout because I don't think he beats him on points unless it's a dodgy. Mm -hmm. I unless it's a dodgy scorecard. I don't think he beats him on points. I think if it goes to points, I think Ortiz wins. So I put a Lopez if it's knockout at round, but I think it's going to be close. So round ten, knockout for Lopez. Mm. But I'm sort of pretty much 50% that I think Ortiz will get it a unanimous decision. Say it's a close fight. We might be completely wrong and Lopez wipes the floor of him in three rounds or like I say. And he's got the capability of doing that, well, Lopez. Well, the thing is, if you've got the power and you catch him, you can win yeah. every round, isn't it? Um, I think Ortiz isn't that easy to get out of there. I think it's going to be given him a fight. Um, and like you said, he likes to have a little bit. He's not one to go, you know, get, he doesn't really, well, he hasn't been clean court or stopped, so... No, no, no. So I think it's going to go for a few. Well, I'd want it to go for a few because it'd be important to stay for watching yeah, it. It's you one know, round. As much as it's exciting, we want I think a good fight. I think it's a, it's, it is a good fight. I would it like Ortiz to show his skills um, and, and Lopez as well. Yeah. And I'm only taking Lopez because you've taken Ortiz. So yeah. I, I think, like I said, I think a decision for Ortiz is just as likely as a knockout for Lopez. Yeah. But we will find out. So, you know, give us your comments, what you think should. Yeah, we just uh, think I'll win that one. Yeah. Have we talking rubbish? Do you think somebody's better? Like, dislike, subscribe, whichever one you want to do. Um, and then, yeah, and leave some things of what you'd like us to do next and who you think they may fight and what you think will happen in the junior welterweight division. Um, who is the best? Which could hot up. Yeah, now that there's a few interesting people in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Another, okay. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. And we'll see you in the next one. I ain't